Hello appraisers, this is Brandon with Spark for Appraisers and in this Synapse Spotlight video we're going to be covering templates. So first of all, what are templates? Templates are our way of saving all of your settings that affect what you are looking at in Synapse, how you're having all the calculations crunched, your paired sales settings, depreciated cost settings, basically everything within this session settings button here. So all the data source, appreciated cost, what you view, your preferences, paired sales settings, and et cetera, all that stuff, that's all saved into your template along with the property type and MLS that you're in. That's part of your template as well because that templates do vary by MLS and property type. And then also what we save into your template are the features that you are analyzing. So these nine features that you see on the screen right now that I'm analyzing, the order that they're in, all of that stuff is saved into your template. So um, if I hit save layout right here, that will save into this template that I'm currently in. And by the way, you can always view what template you're in by clicking the gear icon, report choices, and then right here it tells you what template you're in. Now, if I'm, let me just click start over here. So on this entry screen, when you first start up Synapse, you get to choose your template. Now, if you have two or more templates, then we will force you to pick the template that you want to use for that session. If you only have one, then it will just pick it automatically. And if it's your first time using synapse in a particular mls it will just say create new standard template and that is all there will be now however if you're in an area where you use multiple mls's often then what you can do is go to template management and by the way there's two ways to get to this first from the entry screen i can click template management i'll show you the other way in a minute here and here i have let's say i really like this luxury template for sfr properties and armless and i want to also use it when i'm doing work in Tucson, which is the MLS SAZ uh, MLS. So what I can do is I can hit clone and I can copy this template over to the Tucson MLS and say I want it for SFRs as well. I can name it if I want. So Tucson's uh, luxury, or actually this can still just be luxury. Hit done. And there we go. So now you can see I have the Tucson MLS. I, it's called Luxury and it's for SFRs. Now on this screen, I can delete the templates by clicking the little red trash can here. And I can also filter what I'm looking at. So if you have a big long list of a bunch of different templates, you can filter them by MLS and you can filter them by property type if you'd like to. Also, I can click on these headers at the top and I can sort them. So if I click this one, it sorts it by MLS. This one sorts it by property type. You can sort it forward and backward, and then by name if I want to, forward and backward. So that's pretty much it as far as managing your templates. You can also in this screen create a new template. That's just going to use the standard default Synapse template and allow you to create one in whatever state or MLS you want. So again, I can go to, let's say, DC, the bright MLS, pick what property type, let's say multifamily, and let's just call it new standard Hit done and so now i have a new template and now if i go to create something in dc in bright as long as i choose that same sfr here then i can oh sorry i chose multifamily so if i choose multifamily it will show me here's the template that you have in that area and i'm good to go okay so now let's get back into that session i was just in and I want to show you one more thing here. Now, let's say I move things around and I put, I want swimming pool to be up towards the top here. Let's say I don't want stories. And let's say I want this to be for properties with a view or something. So I'm going to go add a feature. And let's say, let's go down to views and golf. Let's say I want this for golf course views. Hit done. It's going to add that feature in. Give it a second to calculate everything. Right now it's crunching all the data for views. So I've got this. And now let's say I want to save this to my template, but I don't want to hit save layout because I don't want to save this to the current template I'm in, which is standard. I want to make a new template. So what I can do is click the gear icon, go to template management, which as I said, is the second way to get into the template management screen. From the entry screen where it says template management or any other screen, just click the gear icon and click template management. And then I can say, 
create new template from current session. So what that'll do is that'll take all the changes I've made so far in this session, the ones I didn't save to the current template, and it'll, it will create a new template and it'll just ask me to give it a name. So I'm gonna name this one golf course views. And so now I have a new template called golf course views and I'm good to go. Okay, and one thing you want to make sure you're aware of is any change you make on a setting screen or on this screen, when you hit the save layout button, or if Synapse asks you, do you wanna save this to your template, that will save what you've done to the template that you're in. So right now, if I hit save layout, it is gonna go save that to the template I'm in. So next time I use this template, it's gonna look just like this when I get to this screen. And just to give you one more example here, if I go to, let's say my paired sales settings, and I change this so, let's see, for GLA, let's say instead of a match being any time it's within 5%, let's say I want it to be 3%. And I also want lot size to have to be within 100 square feet. Then I can do that, hit done. It's going to ask me, do you want to save this to your template? If I hit yes, then now that is now part of my template. So next time I use this template, it's going to remember exactly those settings. Okay. And then last thing before I let you go is just remember that templates are a handy way for you to be able to save all of your settings and what features you like to analyze for a particular property type. For example, for maybe luxury homes, you might want to have a luxury home template or a rural property template, maybe a high rise condo, maybe for certain properties that have certain types of views or unique features, but uh, maybe even just like a standard tract home template. So just use it whatever way you think is best, but they should be there to hopefully save you a lot of time. All right. Thanks everybody for watching.